Hey everyone, Professor Michael Scanlon here. Hey, you know what else you should never ever do from home? Make your own fireworks. But I'm not at home, so I can do it. I'm working with metal salts today. And then you're like, well, salt, I thought that was what I put on my food. Well, yeah, no. A salt, in general, is an ionic compound that doesn't contain hydroxide. All right, so there's a lot of different salts out there. <clears throat> now, different colors of fireworks correspond to different chemical elements that give off a particular signature that has to do with their electron structure. Different color. That's what I mean by signature. So, I have five different metal salts here that we're going to do a flame test on, and hopefully it works out really well. We'll see. I'm going to turn the flame on, and I'll turn the lights out, so we can see what's going on. Safety first. <laughs> so here's our first one. This is going to be boric acid. How sweet is that? Beautiful green flame. How awesome is that? All right, I'm gonna put it out now. Next one up, potassium chloride, if my eyes or my memory is correct. Now, burn away some of the impurities. Check it out. How do you like that, everybody? Isn't that awesome? Got some purple coming through there. Some yellow. Come on, give me the purple. There we go, we're starting to get purple. I've got some uh, boric acid contamination, apparently. It's still giving me green. But it's wanting to give me purple. If you can see it, awesome. No, I'm sorry. It's wanting to give me purple. Look at that. Fireball. I mean, how awesome is that? Where else can you do this? Right here on this channel. This is where you can see this. All right. Magnesium sulfate. I've just got impurities going left and right on these things. Burn off. This one, I'm going to be honest with you, I wasn't too sure about how well it was going to do. Um, it's not doing well at all. Poor little thing. I mean, check it out. It's just got these different colors in it. I mean, it's really cool. All right, you go in there. Now, these have methanol in them to help dissolve the salts. And so, if you see a little bit of uh, light blue in the flame. What? You see a little bit of light blue in the flame. That's from the methanol. How stinking red is that? I'm sorry, I'm like way over on the side of the camera. How awesome is that? We're dealing with strontium here. So, beautiful, beautiful bright red color. And if you can see awesome, uh, it's got some blue coming in. That's from the methanol. I mean, it's just awesome. Red fireball. It's awesome. So, Professor Scanlon, you have a fire problem. No, you have a fire problem because you just don't appreciate fire. All right. Copper 2 chloride. Here we come. Oops. <laughs> Trying to snag my cotton ball here. Wow. I mean, look, I don't even need lighting in here. Look at that amazing blue green coming in. I mean, that's the copper. That is just incredible, y'all. So, firework colors. Fireworks coming from salts. Who knew, right? So, think about it. I mean, I don't even want to put this down. This is so pretty. Pretty. <laughs> pretty. Get off. 
Alright, I'm gonna turn the lights back on. My poor camera's like, what? So, how awesome is that? I've made a ridiculous mess. We got to talk about fireworks, different colors, do some different color flames. Hey, if you think about it, right, these fireworks that we see at fireworks shows are coming from different salts. So I guess when you're sitting there watching fireworks, you're under a salt. <laughs> that was more dangerous than the flame thing. <laughs> Stay safe, everybody. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.